which uh, gathered momentum, mm. and this is what we saw. So that yeah. was the kickstart of uh, my mission, really. I uh, mentioned in many of my talks that uh, my main mission was coming from Middle East to Europe, which I did that one more than 20 years ago. I just one day, I was exactly doing the same thing in Middle East, in my birthplace, which is a city uh, right now, today, is situated in a place called Kermanshah, in, in today's Iran, and that is, uh, I will go to the history of, a bit brief history of uh, why we call it uh, today's Iran, and uh, uh, Kurdistan. So, to just go to a brief story of there and then come back to my, uh, 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 my talk about my mission. The reason we call it Kurdistan is because before it was one that people across that, uh, uh, across that area, they were uh, ready, coming, going, integrating without any problem until 1919 or 1920, which uh, uh, at the end of uh, way uh, after end of uh, First World War, so British and uh, uh, its ally, they decided to draw up a map, which half of my family they are in today's Iran and the other half are in today's Iraq. So in order to travel, they have to show <coughs> a passport, each of them. My, uh, same thing in today's Turkey and, and uh, Syria or Iraq, when they travel to Armenia, they have to do the same thing. Like five, you have to be part of five different nations or carrying five different nationalities. So all this earthy and, and mentality of we all are one, it doesn't come within a night ray. It's just gathered the momentum uh, way up there. And uh, uh, then I decided as I was working as, a, uh, as an engineer in, in my hometown and all that, I, uh, I saw a lot of discrimination and a lot of uh, uh, inequality and all that in the region and in the area as well. I said, well, I will start my, my mission towards Europe and then America, see whether what is out there, because they say there is freedom and there is inequality doesn't exist over there. I said, I want to go and see for myself. And that is when, in the 90s, I started my journey towards Europe. At that time, same thing, I wasn't carrying any passport. And I was just uh, walking around and I could manage to, wherever I was getting, to survive with food and all that. And uh, slowly got to Europe. And I stayed in Europe, uh, many of the part of Europe anyway, and then I said, the only way to go to America, cross to Britain and then go to uh, America. So, because my main aim was USA, they were saying, that is the place, that is the place of, you know, uh, everything gonna, you know, uh, is, is a nation of many different colors, many different things, and you can make it flourish. So, uh, that was the aim. And then I got stuck in the UK, I had to uh, study and then started work and, and took back to 2008. So uh, in there, I remember 2008 or 9, there was a uh, uh, world gathering of 20 different uh, developed nations, developing and developed nations.